Hello and welcome to our virtual parent and student orientation for HCS Virtual. This presentation is designed to help you get oriented with the HCS Virtual program. You can always go back and check out the slide deck or view it on our website if you ever need to review the material again. Our purpose for today is to provide student and parents with a high level overview of the HCS Virtual program and how to get started. I do want to note that teachers are going to be writing orientation sessions more specific to their individual classes and expectations in the weeks to come. In HCS Virtual, we use several different learning platforms for our students. Most of our students use Genius and Buzz for all of their virtual work. Seesaw and Google Classroom are the learning platforms utilized for ESOL services and special education courses in ELA reading, math, science, social studies, and or learning strategies. For most of our students, you will log in to your coursework through this link. Once you type it, please bookmark the link. You will log in using your HCS username and password. Be sure not to write out your whole email address but rather just your first and last name without spaces. If you are a parent and you would like to access Genius, please log in with your student's credentials. Our ESOL and special education courses do not use this login. Instead, they use Seesaw or Google Classroom as the learning platform. If you are assigned ESOL or special education teachers, they will help you access your ESOL and special education courses the first week of classes. Now we're going to show you how to log in and access your coursework. By going to the HCS virtual login, for the login page, you're gonna put in the student's first name, last name, no spaces. For the password, it's their Active Directory password also known as their Google password. It probably starts with a capital letter and ends with a number. Take a moment and log in. First thing we want to try and do is talk about is now that we're logged in as a student is the communication piece. This will be as your messages on the side. So I can go to messages here and these will be all the messages that I have from my teacher and their timestamp. You can also expect progress reports coming to you. Your progress reports will appear in these messages. You can click on one and you can view it in detail. And these will appear in your inbox. Notice them in the messages sent. You can also send a message to your teacher if you needed to. Next thing I want to try and do is show you the student activity. Student activity shows you how many minutes they were tracked, uh, how long you spent on the individual courses throughout the week, and the total time for that week. If you were the parent, if you need to go back and see a little bit before this week, you can always choose that in the drop down menu before. Now, what I'd like to do is try to demo launching the course for you. And when we launch, we're going into Buzz. But now we're going to actually go into the content. So I'm going to launch one of these courses. Let's say I'm going to launch this science course. After you hit launch in the Genius dashboard, you'll be prompted into your Buzz dashboard. Buzz is where you're gonna be getting your work done and this is where you can go to all of your courses and access their work. So I'm going to pick one of these courses, click on that course, and you can see certain things about Google Meet times, times when they're gonna be uh, meeting up, maybe a little intro, and then underneath we have all of these modules. It's really important to watch all of the videos, read all the material, and progress through each module in order. And you will typically turn in work at the end of each of these modules. And you can see all the work underneath. If it has a green check on it, it means I've completed it. So I'm gonna click on this one for underarm throws. It's typically a video that will come up, and then I would move on to the next activity and get my progress and then this one's going to end with an assessment that i would have to do if i go back to that main page i can go into the grades for this course 
by clicking on the grades button. This will tell you exactly what grade I received uh, for each uh, assignment in this one course. If I need to pick uh, another course, I can hit my three lines up here, hit my arrow, and I can pick my other courses. So you're going to basically do your work, submit assignments, and turn it in within the buzz page. If I were to go back into Genius, do my grade book here as well, and the grade book here will give me a snapshot of my assignments and my grade in all of my courses. But in Buzz, you see the individual course. In a Google Meet, this is where your teachers will schedule and host regular required live lessons with you via Google Meet. You can also attend optional office hours offered by the teachers each week for additional help with your lessons. It is very important for you to be logged in with your HCS Google account, which is typically first name, last name of the student followed by at g.orycountyschools.net. How attendance is tracked is basically you will need to spend 150 minutes a week, which is roughly about 30 minutes a day. Do note that your time in other websites such as a Google Meet or anywhere outside the Buzz platform, it will not track your time on there. And attendance in our ESL courses is recorded daily by the instructor. And attendance special education classes is taken weekly and based on attendance in virtual classes and completion of assignments. Your pacing guide will tell you where you should be in the curriculum at any given time during the week. Assignments should be turned in by the due date. The teacher will put a zero for the assignments that you are behind. You have up to two weeks from the original due date to turn in the work. After that, the zero will remain. To be successful, it's important that you stay on pace each week. For our welcome calls and orientations with the teachers, this is where you will start to receive info from the teachers about getting to know the teacher, office hours, and Google Meet links, how to communicate with the teacher. Teachers may host a Google Meet orientation, a virtual open house, or call you directly using contact information in PowerSchool. PowerSchool information can be updated at the base school. It is important that your contact information in PowerSchool is always up to date. For contacting your teacher, be sure to use the messages on the left-hand side of the HCS Virtual Dashboard. Your teacher will also share their Google phone number and Google Meet link during their orientation, which can be found on the landing page in your Buzz course once you hit Launch. In order to contact ESOL and special education teachers, the teacher's HCS email address should be used and will be provided to you by the teacher. For your grading, many of your grades are calculated automatically in the platform, but there are some assignments that require other types of submissions. Teachers should have feedback to those assignments within 48 hours, but there are some larger projects that there will be a longer delay on a return with feedback. For your grade reporting, as demonstrated before, students and parents can access student grades in the HCS virtual platform in the gradebook under the student's login. Teachers will send weekly progress reports as well. It's important to keep up with your pacing guide so you do not fall behind. Students will receive a zero for any assignment that is late according to the pacing guide. The student can still make up the assignment for up to two weeks, but this should serve as a warning to the student to catch up on his or her work. In our ESOL classes, the ESOL teachers do not use Buzz or Genius. If your child receives ESOL services, please refer to the chart below. For our special education classes and courses, special education teachers provide instruction in ELA reading, math, science, social studies, and or learning strategies but they do not use Buzz or Genius. If your child receives special education instruction in any of these areas, please refer to the chart below. Our academic integrity is where HCS Virtual takes integrity and the authenticity of student work very seriously. 
students are responsible for submitting and protecting their own original work. Academic integrity violations can include but are not limited to cheating, plagiarism, or falsification. If you want more info, please go to our Academic Integrity section on our website or the link in the YouTube description below. In order to be a successful student in HCS Virtual, trying to find a quiet place to study, it's very important to set a schedule for yourself. Agenda will also help you stay organized, and you might even want to start your day off by checking your email and keeping that email tab open. You can continue to keep in contact with your teachers, join all of those live meetings so you don't miss instruction, and always refer to your pacing guide so you know where you are. And most importantly, stay motivated. You can also check out some other wonderful tips from one of our HCS Virtual students by clicking on the link here, checking out the link in the YouTube description, or on our website. Whom do you contact when you have some particular questions? Well, the main phone number you can reach is this one right there. And then we have particular technology issues that you may need some help with, especially broken down by middle high school, elementary school, emails for scheduling, or any questions about attendance can all be addressed to these phone numbers and email addresses. We also have some members in HCS Virtual Administration. For more information on HCS Virtual, please visit our website. Our website will guide you on where you can log in and any other important information that you might need to be successful in our program. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast, podcast, and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.